Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. This is a fruit bowl with a bunch of bananas. My roommates are animals and a kiwi. So this is gonna serve as my load for this demonstration. Today I wanna talk about how can we manipulate the load to manipulate what our body's doing? How can we offset a load to change how our bodies are positioned? And now you can probably see me already. If I hold the load up high, and directly in line with me, but off to the right. You can see my body start to list this way. Lists like, you know, like a pole is leaning, like the leaning tower of Pisa, right? I am still straight, but I am tilting. If I move to the other side, you see I move the other way. Now why is this? So this, this weight is now part of my body, but gravity works by pulling straight down regardless. So if I kept my position from before and I just let it, and I didn't control with any muscles, I, it would just pull me over, right? So I keep my muscles to keep me together and I manipulate my positions. So how does this work? You'll notice if the weight is on my right, I sh well, wherever the weight is, you'll notice I shift away from it. That's the biggest rule. So that's the rule of the goblet squat or the plate squat, right? I put loads in front of my body to teach me how to sit back. And that's why that stuff is so effective. But I can do the same kind of thing if I need to control, let's say a shift. If I am too far in my right leg, I might actually put the weight in my right arm or on my right side. I might hold one kettlebell up here. And then when I squat, I'll have to keep my hips over to the left more. I'll have to keep my body over to the left more to balance this counterweight here. Now, Sometimes, I'm gonna throw a little wrench in this. <laughs> this isn't gonna be the most simple video, sorry. Um, sometimes we shift to the right because we need to feel our right heel because we're really good at feeling our right heel. And that's just because our body is really asymmetrical and it's more comfortable to do there and we can manage the, the water and the air that's in our body better that way. But if I really never feel my leg, if I'm, if I'm, you know, oftentimes if someone's squatting, I might say, do you feel both your legs pretty evenly or both your quads pretty evenly? And if they say no, I might actually, I might try either one of these, right? I might say, well, if you're shifting, let's try to shift you away or let's put this over here and let's load this side. So now the weight is over here. More of the weight comes down here. I have to cue this on to help balance me, but I also have to propel off of the leg that's underneath the weight. And I just come down and I push back up. Now, you're never gonna know what's going on, okay? You can look and you can see stuff and we try to simplify things for teaching purposes, but all of those, uh, all of those changes that you give yourself are just guesses and it's okay, right? What we do as people who try to change squats is we test the squat and we say, I don't like that part about it. Let's do this. And then we try something. And then we say, okay, what does that squat look like? And then we say, that was better or that was worse. All we're doing is we test and we retest. We test, we intervene, and we retest. So play around with it. You can load on one side. You can load on the other side. You can load to the front. That's a great one that helps a lot. You could even load to the back, but that's just gonna be really ridiculous and I don't think I'd ever do it for anyone because it just throws them forward and just smashes all your biomechanics, makes everything really difficult. Uh, you can do all of these things by holding a weight low or some moderate distance or even up high or even overhead all sorts of things that you can try. Feel free to give something a shot. And if you have any questions, if you have any, you know, I, it's hard to cover everything on a topic like this. So if you have any questions, if these rules weren't simple enough, just leave a comment below.